Despite the progress made by the Malay community, the five-year recidivism rate of former offenders is an area of concern, said Law and Home Affairs Minister K. Shanmugam on January 25. He was speaking at the first Malay-Muslim Organisation Rehabilitation Network conference held at the Singapore Expo. More than 50 organisations were in attendance at the conference organised by the Ministry of Home Affairs MHA and Singapore Prison Service SPS. Mr Shanmugam noted that the two-year recidivism rate for Malay offenders fell from 34.1% among those released in 2010 to 24.7 per cent for those released in 2020. In the broader community, he also noted progress in education and jobs over the years. He said it was extremely significant that 85 per cent of Malay households own their own homes and that more than 60 per cent live in forum or bigger flats. What does forum in Singapore mean? To me, Forum is a marker of middle class. He added that this is because those who retain such flats bought from the government for some years would likely have equity of between $150,000 and $250,000. But Mr. Shanmugam highlighted the five year recidivism rate as one of the challenges. It is the proportion of inmates released from prison who end up reoffending and getting detained, sentenced to jail, or being given a day reporting order within five years of their release. He said, if we look at it over five years, and whether they reoffend, that remains quite high. That's 50%, one in two go back to jail within five years. Annual statistics released by SPS in 2023 showed the overall five-year recidivism rate was at 45.2%. Another challenge, Mr. Shanmugam added, is the increasingly difficult battle against drug abuse, with the growing global supply of drugs and liberal attitudes towards drugs in other countries that are influencing Singaporeans, especially young people. Noting that intergenerational offending is also a challenge, he said, these are problems that can be solved. Now, we know the statistics. We know who are the children at risk. We should be able to intervene and help them before they get into trouble. So, we need to work together to deal with this, learn from each other, tap each other's experiences, skills and resources. When asked by the Straits Times about the five-year recidivism rate at the January 25 conference, Minister of State for Home Affairs Mohammad Faisal Ibrahim said the Malay-Muslim Organisation Rehabilitation Network can help to support inmates who are released from prison. The network, formed in November 2021, comprises more than 20 organisations including mosques, social service agencies, the Islamic Religious Council of Singapore, self-help group Mendoki and Padapis Halfway House. MHA said the conference on January 25 served as a platform to inspire and galvanize Malay-Muslim organizations to collaborate more closely to serve the needs of Malay-Muslim inmates, former offenders and their families. Mr Nasser Mohammed Zain, president of non-profit organization 4PM, said the conference was useful to learn what other organizations were doing. 4PM focuses on helping youth, including children, from incarcerated families. Mr Nasser, 40, said he had spoken with another organization during the conference to see how it could support the families of the children 4PM was assisting. Mr Lazen Arafin, who is head of programs at Goal Aspiration, a support group set up by former offenders to help their peers, said he spoke to representatives from other organizations about the programs they have. And he plans to find out more about those he found suitable for his beneficiaries. Mr. Lezen, 56, who is a former offender, has served nine sentences since he was 18, mostly for drug offenses. He has not reoffended 
since his release in 2020. He said, change can happen when you put in effort.